mind. I was going to say something but, else. But, um, but you know question. what, though? And, and D. Calico is saying hydrochloroquine works according to independent doctors. Well, D. Calico, if you get it, I'm not wishing it on you, but if you get it, rock out with that. See how that works. And if your heart explodes, because okay. scientists across the world said the shit fucks with your heart majorly. Majorly. So I got you. So it's like, oh, I didn't die of COVID. Wait a minute. My heart stopped. So I don't know about that. But I, again, I'm not a scientist. I'm saying that we should listen to the scientists and we shouldn't listen to this orange fuck stick and the weird shit he says. She should have bounced. She didn't bounce. So now her feeling uncomfortable and feeling some way. That's the same bitch that stays with the motherfucker that stabbed her in the side because she didn't find a remote fast enough. If you'd have found a remote, bitch, I wouldn't have stabbed you in your side <laughs> twice. <laughs> what? Right. Dummies. And that's the what's going on. A lot of people are kowtowing to them. But they, we, let's be clear on this. And I am, I am definitely saying this. I saw it on MSNBC, but I wanted to put it in my own words. We are the majority. The people with common sense and the, actually are the majority. It's the minority, which is the Trump supporters, which he absolutely positively lost the popular vote and probably will again. But the electoral vote is what counts. I get that. But we need to fuck him over there, too, and fuck over the rest of the Republicans, too. And, and, and I'm not pro-Democrat. I think that they're a bunch of goofy motherfuckers, but somebody that has some kind of empathy is better than the bitch-ass people that want to kill us in the streets. So how about that? And hydrochloroquine has been hydrochloroquine. It's been proven that that's not the thing, you know. Yeah. And and by so, the way, decalico debacalaco is a fucking word, okay? Yeah, so you yeah. Just, that's you know, it's all a, words. It's a new word up. that I just all words all, are made like up. what you said. All words are made up, so that's a new one yeah. that Webster's just haven't got at me yet to yeah. put it in there. But you watch decalico; it's gonna be yeah. there. Uh, Lynette, Lynette Kamara, uh, welcome back always, and and good to see you. I'm I'm gonna address your NFAC. That's gonna be our last topic tonight. Shane, do we have time yeah. to go a little bit extra? Are you are you good tonight? Do you have time? I'm good tonight. Um, yeah, we got eight minutes before the hour, but we good. We no, we I, good. I mean, if you know, if, if, if we don't get flagged, hours. no. Feed, two we'll two people 32. I know, two people got I know on here got flagged, That's and cool. because of content, flag away, and they man. said. We, yeah, and they inboxed me, said, I'm next. Like, yes. not on some, like, trying to threaten me. They were more like, dude, some of the shit y'all saying, y'all might be next. All right, so, I, so check this out, man. This shit is righteous shit, and you can't get us for this shit, is that um, there are some key swing states, and we are Savage AF, by the way. Make sure you're always following at Comedian Shang. And make sure Black you follow Pedro. at Black Pedro. And on IG Live, follow at Savage AF Radio, and follow Savage a dot f dot on youtube get that y'all on like, youtube make sure you, hey, i need you i need to see i'm looking at the page right now we just started the page i want to see at least at least 10 more fucking subscribers to our youtube page today today motherfucker right today um, to this day to this go. day get with us y'all we need y'all because you can you can follow us back like this is you know if you can't catch us live just know that that's the location where you can see this right. video and also video you can check content. us out on right on yeah, IGTV to... too on yeah. IGTV on at Black Pedro on IGTV on mine also which is at Comedian Shang make sure you check us out on the, and subscribe to the podcast version of the show the podcast is a hot thing right now and that's what we rocking with make sure you check us out on the podcast iTunes Stitcher Slacker Google Play iHeartRadio Spotify. SoundCloud. I'm doing this. Da, 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 da. I'm breakdancing while I'm telling y'all. Spotify. Feel me. All day. Who wants to battle? Oh, shit. All right, my, yeah, we my got time, man. Went low. My battery just went low, so I had to plug in uh, my, uh, my charger instead of my... You know what? Yeah, I, I got my plug ready to go in case some Here shit pop off and they try to Here block us. Uh, um, but... Some some really key swing states are, um, and, and even potential swing states, uh, have changed their rules uh, going into this voting. And you know we've been vote heavy. We we always will be, right here on Savage AF. Uh, have changed their their uh, you know voter laws, their their um, yeah, voting laws, I should say. Uh, voting laws, yes, 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 yes. To accommodate the the whole pandemic situation and and 
any other bullshit that's going on. So I just want to say, North, North Carolina, uh, they are going to, they said the Board of Elections said ballots postmarked by Election Day would count as long as officials receive them within nine days after the election, right? Uh, in Wisconsin, uh, ballots postmarked by Election Day would count as long as uh, officials have them in hand within six days, right? Um, in Pennsylvania, they get three days. Uh, and in Michigan, home state, go blue, you get up to two weeks after November 3rd. Now. Also, yeah, it, but, but uh, let me emphasize this too. I understand that you got more time and don't think that the election is going to be over that night because they're going to have to count the ballots because of the mail-in situation because they got to definitely do the mail-in much more than possible than normal because of the pandemic. There's a lot of older people that can't be out in the fucking streets for four hours, five hours. We're younger, so we could do the shit, but they can't. So, and I'm younger. I said I'm younger. No, I mean, Pedro's younger. I, I'm, I'm about to be 75 years old. My skin look good for a 78-year-old nigga. But um, did I did I change the number? Yeah, I did. Um, but I'm telling you right now, don't wait too late. I just that's that's the new rhyme. Don't wait too late. I'm saying too go late. early. Do the shit er, do the shit early so there won't be a problem because they're gonna try some dirty dirt dog shit. You already know it. He's trying to win that way and said even if he do lose, he ain't leaving. But we got to make sure it's a slam dunk so he he really can't bitch when he got bitch smacked up with. Uh, a popular vote of over 4 million and an electoral vote of 400 fucking vote, 400 on the electoral. If he gets 400 and it's a slam dunk, ain't shit he can say other than tiptoe your orange cunty ass the fuck on and go try to grab somebody's pussy. I wish he would try to grab somebody's pussy that yeah, I know. He's, he's trying to grab America by the pussy right now. Sean Ford yeah. said, said Big, Big Gretch is looking out. She's no pussy, even though she's got one. Uh, that's the governor of Michigan. Uh, but a lot of these key states are giving uh, more time. And, and obviously, this isn't uh, more time for you to vote. This is more time for your mail-in ballots to be counted after Election Day, right? So like, like Shang and Dang is saying, right, it, they're, they're going to try and say that whatever happened on election night, because they're saying that most Republicans, most of his supporters are going to go out and vote on Election Day, which, if you are a Republican and a Trump supporter, is November 53rd, okay? It's on the 53rd of November. Right. Do not be late. Um, but and, and Republicans, you know what? If the doors are locked, what you do is you take a brick and break it open, and, yeah. and that way when the cops come, you can say, I'm just trying to vote, all right? So, so if you, if you get arrested... You know, you stood up for your rights. If, if they just actually take the brick and break it over their head, their vote will count. So Republicans, yeah, uh, uh, aside from voting uh, by mail, just know that you can take a brick and break it over your head, and that will count as your vote. So go ahead, Republicans. Uh, brick the vote is, is the movement. Brick the vote, which is the yeah. new, which is the new calling. I don't know if you know that. It's brick the vote. But yeah, uh, for the rest of y'all, do it the regular way that a human being would do. Um, but uh, I, I, you know, this is this is gonna be key because a lot of people are, are gonna mail in their votes, and they're not bullshit, fake ballots that are you know forged or whatever the Trumpy Dumpties is trying to talk about. It's it, you know it's. They're not, a lot of states aren't even just mailing ballots. They're mailing requests. And if you want to request a ballot, you request it, just like the president and his kids and everybody else is doing, right? All Republicans do it all the time. Request a ballot. You want to mail it in, but they're trying to shut down the mail system so then burn the trucks and take away the mailboxes and uh, the goddamn <laughs> the stork. They then killed all the storks so the babies can't get delivered. It's crazy, right? People aren't getting their medications. We've seen it here on this feed. People out there got their minds so they can't get their Quaaludes or their Zantax. Or right. Whatever. And uh, it's going to clog up the system. And these very key states, again, like uh, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, they, they said if, if, if Biden gets North Carolina, like, done. Path is blocked. Like, 
not going to happen. Uh, gonna happen. Let me just say something real quick. Um, Adam Hunt, Adam Hunter is on here. What's up, comedian hey. Adam Hunter? Um, you know what? Um, I, I, you know what? If anybody needs to get COVID herpes simplex ten, it will be Colby, Colby Covington. So I, I see you, fucking Adam. <laughs> I fucking see you. He just, you know, he's giving me shit. Adam Hunter, very funny comic. Yeah, it, it make sure you follow him, Adam Hunter. If you get a chance, make sure you follow him. And, you Colby know, make sure you Covington. definitely Colby. follow him. And Colby follow Covington. Adam Hunter for sure. Colby Covington uh, would be the uh, MMA fighter that you got beef with now, Beverly. Yeah, well, I got beef with him. And if I see him in the streets, uh, dance off. Because I ain't, definitely ain't fighting that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah. but, but I, I, I'm fight, sure right? I can out-dance out him. You don't want... <laughs> and you tell Adam Hunter... You know, what's up, Adam? You tell him when he sees me, tell Kobe Coven to get his dance on. Um, I'm too old to be fighting. I'm, you know, I'm 79 years old. I look like fighting in the streets, 82 years old. What's the bullshit? Like? God damn it. What I look like, 47,000 years old. No, I'm just, you know what? This is the thing is with the swing states, I was going to say this, is there's a lot of people that I procrastinate on a lot of shit. I've been procrastinating back and forth on a lot of shit. A lot of shit I'm very on point with. I, but that, I think people do it because they think, well, I can do it like normal. It's normal. It's not a normal fucking election. This ain't the normal shit. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, I'm 87 years old. I've been around for a while. Okay? <laughs> I didn't I didn't seen it. We used to vote by horseback. We need to get it. We need to make sure. And right now, I'm not saying and I notice I didn't say vote for Trump or or a Biden, but I'm just saying don't vote for the orange one. That's all. To vote for the other one, the other old the white, white dude. <laughs> the white yeah. Vote for that. Not the, not yeah, the, don't vote for that. Yeah, vote. Don't vote for the one. Yeah, don't vote for for tangerine cunt stick. Vote for the other one. But I didn't tell you which one that is. Okay. But the key is to to register to vote. Take your your black ass motherfucking ass out and go fucking vote. Okay, just 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 fucking do it. Okay, there's so many days before in every state. Every state's got early voting going on. You can go days, weeks before. Just you got a day off, my nigga. Like go fucking vote. Just right. Just and you know it. what? Which is cool. It's Some like, states like are actually swiping, giving people right, swiping left on Tinder. Like, yeah, I don't know if this shit gonna work, but nigga, just swipe. Just swipe. But but Pedro, which is a good thing. That another thing that some some businesses are doing is they're letting their people take days off, which I think is a really good okay. thing. Yeah, where they a vote day, they're giving them a vote day. So um, I think that the main thing is not only take the time, but do it ahead of time. And I think that a lot of the press is finally because everybody gives media shit. The media is right. You got to give give time to vote. And right now, man, it just gets crazier and crazier. When I hear this motherfucker on his press rally say, I'm not leaving, there's no other way to take the shit he said. No, if we if we outvote him by a ton, he ain't really ain't no argument. There's no argument. Even if he even if they try to close it by the judges to make the gap closer, if we kill him on the popular vote and kill him in the electoral vote, there's nothing he can say. So it's on us to do the shit. It's on us. And we got to do it. And if we don't do it, you know what I'm saying? And yes, I can say that being 92 years old. Let me tell you something, okay? When you're 92, you, you know some shit. I've been through some shit. Wow. I opened up for, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. I, I was going to say something. I opened, I opened, up, up, for I opened up for Little Richard. <laughs> I opened up for Little Richard, his first tour, doing comedy <laughs> in the juke joints in, in the South. So you don't say nothing to me, goddamn it! Watch yourself. Look out now, woo, woo! Because old hey, people man. dance for no reason. Look at nigga. Ah. So speaking Sorry. about speaking about uh, watching out and looking out for yourself, uh, Sean forty one hundred asked, and I just happened to catch this randomly. Said, uh, "What kind of gun is Gertrude?" Um, and for those who don't know, that 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 is my that's my girl, my lady that I keep by my bedside at night. Um, she is an HK, which is a, a Heckler and Coke uh, P2000, 9mm, uh, you know, full-size uh, handgun. Uh, in California, we can only hold 10 rounds in the clip, even though on the, on the, on the mag, uh, I shouldn't say clip, that's wrong, wrong, 
uh, lingo. On the magazine, you can only have 10 rounds. Um, and uh, even though the manufactured one given holds 13, it, it, they, it, it's blocked off when they sell it to you in California. So, um, yeah, that, that's who Gertrude is. And that leads us into, um, we can go wherever after this, but, you know, w what I wanted to end the show with is we've talked about the, not, and, and I'm going to go back to uh, Lynette Kamara at this point as well who uh, brought up the Not Fucking Around Coalition and, and our access to it and uh, and say that with the Not Fucking Around Coalition, I'm going I'm to try and form the Stop Fucking Around Movement. <laughs> Not seriously. <laughs> Wait this, a minute. So the Stop Fucking Around Movement instead of the... <laughs> yeah. No, AJ Fit, you can't, you can't extend your shit in California. Not legally, unless you know Shang's people. But you know, if you want yeah, to, yeah, I'm gonna right, do it a different you way. You gotta get on your reload game and and have mad magazines. But um, but the reality is, uh, stop fucking around, people. Everybody, you too, Shane. Everybody, stop. I fucking am. Around. Like let let's like get on get on your shit, man. Like listen, exercise exercise your Second Amendment right. Um, I want to talk about a group of brothers outside of the not fucking around coalition. Um, there. Which, by the way, this, uh, if you the, the Stop and Fucking Around Coalition is uh, is basically a group of brothers that are military trained. Because some people don't know what we're talking about. They're military trained brothers and sisters. They're sisters and brothers and sisters. My bad. That are military exactly. trained. Absolutely know how to shoot. Um, you know, obviously they you know they show a, a show of force so people that are being peaceful can continue to be peaceful. And I think that they they basically they marched onto the uh, Klan's headquarters in Georgia. They've done things to just basically kill that, you know, itch in these white militias to just bust on peaceful protesters. When you see 1,500 brothers in full gear, full, fully armored with, with um, assault rifles and legal, legal assault rifles and all of them ex-military so they know what the fuck they're doing. And I wouldn't say they're the new Black Panther Party Eve. I would say they're more, they seem, a, it's a little different agenda. And it, it's on some down low shit, you know, where the Black Panthers were very visible. They're a little bit more down low, like, when you need me, we're going to be up, we're going to be up in there. And so far, they've shown up they, at they, three different places when they were needed. Yeah. They, they've expressed, and in, 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 they've expressed themselves as a, uh, as a support group, like a kind of response backup group. Um, similarly, you know, I got this story from LA Times, uh, dot com. Uh, about a group of guys uh, called the Minnesota Freedom Fighters. Um, and in, in the wake of George Floyd and in uh, actually what they, what they call a response to the NAACP's locally uh, call for a protection of, of local black businesses, they got out there with guns, you know what I mean? And um, this article, uh, you know, just talks about a, a group of black men uh, who have gotten together um, they carry legally, legally. You keep going on that legally shit. Bro, God bro. damn it. Legally, because listen, this and 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 I'm, and I'm I go back to the seed I dropped earlier is, why would you buy a felony from anybody? Why would you purchase in a back alley out of a nigga's uh, eighty-seven cutlass trunk a felony? Because especially in our state, saying in California that like any unregistered gun, most especially for us, but especially like just the ownership of it or I should say the possession of it, and especially depending on the type of gun. Um, I mean, you're talking about serious offenses, man. Like serious, serious offenses. Uh, like we, right. already see, we already see the, the system doesn't hold up for us like that, right? So um, there, there's no leeway in that. So you you have well, okay, the, man. You, but listen, you have the ability I told you. to do it legally. Just just go do it. Everybody, everybody who has the ability to go do it, just exercise the right. First of all, then go train yourself so that you don't just have this thing sitting in your house that can kill people. And you don't know how to use it, right? So like, go take a class or just go to the range if you feel comfortable enough. But don't don't just go get a gun, but 
go get one and then learn how to use it and then be responsible with it. Make sure your head is right, okay? Or, 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 while we're waiting for it, because it takes a while for it to clear, um, I know a nigga that sells ninja stars. Very, he was very into the, you know, five fingers of death and he sells ninja stars. So if you need ninja stars, what you do is you go and you subscribe. You subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is savage dot, it's savage a dot f dot. And if you go sav, and I need to see more. I see a few people that I'm looking at it now. Some of y'all have subscribed. I need more. We just started it up. You can, yeah, so click on the click on the videos, watch a couple of videos, and we will send you some Savage AF Ninja Stars until you get your gun legally, and maybe nunchucks and a bow staff. And you know, I fuck, I don't fuck around with a bow staff. <laughs> bow staff skills. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a Napoleon Dynamite. So Lynette Kamara says, uh, and thank you for chiming back in. By the way, NFAC, the Not Fucking Around Coalition. <laughs> Just made an open call for more members and lowered the age to join down to 18. Uh, GMJ, uh, I'm not sure exactly. That must be the leader. I'm, I, I'm not sure of his name. Is calling for 1 million new members, uh, Pedro, she says. So um, I appreciate that information for sure. Uh, but the can, you, uh, is, can, like, can you inbox me that? Uh, can, can, uh, the, who was it that said that? Uh, Lynette Kamara. Lynette, 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 don't fuck around, Lynette. You know, I'll see you in these streets, and then you know what it means. Uh -huh. You know, I, I don't – the DJ will drop the beat, and it'll yeah, dance off, it'll happen. Right I've been working right. on my head spin, so I need you to do me a favor. I need you to inbox me that information. I am going to definitely spread it around to some people that I know will definitely embrace it, including see, myself, okay? See, I thought I th – in my head, I was like, GMJ. I was like, Grandmaster J? It's What's Grandmaster J. But like I'm like I'm on some like Run DMC was the first like cassette like if you know what a cassette was and you had to take a pencil to rewind it when the tape got fucked up. That was the first hip hop. Are album. you old enough to even know that? Tougher than leather, dog. So like when you say Grandma. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah, you are. It must stand for George Michael Johnson or something. <laughs> well, we didn't like, have cassettes. Okay. We had these big giant metal things because you know being 94 years old, these big giant metal things, and we had. This, we had to crank it like this, and we crank it, and then the music came out. We cranked it. That's what we did. <laughs> then, my, I don't know why I keep going older. But each time I'll be like, by the time I'm done, I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> <laughs> what hey, happened? Man. He just he but, died, man. But so, so here, here's what's important. This is why I kind of latched onto the story of the Minnesota Freedom Fighters. Is uh, it, it? You know, it's a group of, of black men who decided to uh, respond to an NAACP call. And yeah, NAACP, sorry. I was like, NCAA? No, NAACP call. <laughs> was, uh, what? Like, did I say the right thing? Um, no, I, yeah, at first I didn't. Uh, to, to protect uh, black businesses. And they, they went out there and did that legally, legally, according to the laws in their state. And I... I I, it, it, it's visually, I can understand that it's what the NFAC is about, the Not Fucking Around Coalition. It's like when you have a certain amount of people armed, most people are not going to fuck with you. So when we, de when we break it down by racial demographics, right, like most people aren't going to fuck with a group of white guys walking down the street, right? Like tough thing to do. Usually doesn't work out. What we've seen is that a group of black people walking down the street running up on the KKK headquarters in the same fashion, but peacefully, quietly. Uh, nobody fucking right. with them. And if we begin to localize it and then connect and collectivize. As we right. Say, you got you to do your fingers like this. Collectivize. collectivize. Uh, these resources, but start locally in your, in your neighborhood, your block. You know what well, I mean? Well, Pedro, you did it right. Um, I, I honestly, and I'm not then, I know I'm not in the drug, yeah, either, right. Like my, no, but you, but block, right? like, I mean, like, yeah, but you did it, you did it in a legal way, you did it in a smart way. I just thought I know my temperament, and I've proven my temperament over the years I've been alive to not be 
Uh, I know that there would be a multitude of motherfuckers with aftermarket holes in their face. And I just feel like I didn't know if I have the temperament because honestly, me and uh, me and Eve, I had touched base with Eve about this before. It's like sometimes, and it sounds bad, but European Americans, white folks really getting brave and they really will say some off the cuff shit. This lady threw, the lady was jogging. There's a video of the lady was jogging through a bottle at it. Like, shut up, you nigger. And I know I would be like, really, really, bitch? And it would be. She is being charged with a hate crime, by the way. Right. But I mean, she wouldn't even made it to hate crime status. It would have been. I mean, I could just see me dropping her. And I I just know how I am. And I'd be like, oh, y'all just going to, y'all just going to think y'all just going to do this shit. It'd be a lot of people getting dropped. And I, and I, and I wouldn't be able to shoot good, but I would definitely. I definitely would get them somewhere. And I know that that's why I hesitated. But now I see the you know, situation, you know. Here's, here's the thing, though. And, and, and I get that sentiment. But at least for me, this is my experience. And I, I, I would like, if this is your natural instinct, to at least part, impart this um, sentiment to you, to you and everybody else, is that once I did take possession of a firearm, like, my persona about it changed, right? So then if you really educate yourself about what you're doing and the the lethality of it, then your heart should change if if you're not a sociopath or a psychopath. And I don't <laughs> believe you are. I know you are. I know you're not. You're not. Like, Wait listen, a minute. Listen, Wait. My day, no. Listen, my, my, my day, like, like, I literally, right now, with all this shit that's going on, I have to, <laughs> like, I've, I've already told y'all, like, and y'all seen video, like, every Saturday now, when I go to work in Beverly Hills at this restaurant, there is a fucking group of goddamn Trump supporters at the park, at this main park in Beverly Hills, right around the corner. Yes. Like and I just got, I got to see them and deal with it. And every day, Oh, those days and, and all of this shit that's going on, I'm like, do not bring Gertrude out of the house. Like, do not carry her around. Like, do not have, not, not only am I not concealed carry certified, but like, like, I don't need her in my glove box or my trunk. Anymore. Like, it's a little bit, like, if I'm in the car and we get in, I'm gonna just out drive your ass. <laughs> We gonna get into some James Bond shit, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but I, I know. But you said unless you're a sociopath, you got to think the power of shooting a gun. Now I've shot a gun before on multiple occasions. I just didn't know. I didn't have no clue of what I was fucking doing. Don't get it twisted. I was more. I was more surprised at the coil back. If anything, that threw me for a second. But yeah. you know what else? Part of me went. Uh, uh, uh. And I knew when you start going like this, when you shoot, go, uh, 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 yeah, you ain't supposed to do that. And it, like that's like if you buy a knife and you start going, uh, 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 then you know that you. Uh, somebody somebody yeah, said a Tony <laughs> Baker thing. Eve said they gonna get that skippity pop. People get that, um, that skippity pop. Miss, miss Unique loves like take Gertie with you. Uh, Siva three one three. What up, though? He's like, you need Gertrude. You better defend yourself. Listen, if the concept is come to my doorstep, catch wreck. When I'm in the streets, man, you know, honestly, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I am a believer that when you, when you, when you bring a certain energy out, you're gonna attract a certain energy. Um, and I think, like, that's why I think open carry is stupid. Like, if you, if you just start walking around with guns. You're asking for other guns to come towards you, like, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just, it's a weird way to operate. So. Yeah, well, you know what? I see what you're saying, and I agree with you about people not fucking around and doing it legally and, and make sure that you go to the range. It's very important to go to the range because then you realize how bad you are at shooting because people have this perception that you're just good. Like, you're going to pick it up and all of a sudden, you, you motherfucking James Bond, you're going to be like, pat, 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 pat. You're, also, but bringing that up, and that's a great point, Shane, because it brings us back to the top of the show, which is about, say, her name, Breonna Taylor. She wasn't even the one that fired any gun at all, right? Like, 
of all the men involved in that situation, she had no weapon at all. And while bullets flew through other apartments and over five-year-old children's heads, right, or head, I should say, and over other innocent adults' living situations, um, the officers who were returning fire towards the one shot at them hit the non-shooter six times. You know what I mean? Right. So like, Which sounds that, suspect. That's, that's, I'm that's, telling you that's that. That's one of the things I was sharing about, you know, my first gun owner, gun owner shooting experience. Because honestly, on in the military situations that I shot on, when as a comedian visiting bases in the Middle East, like they had like serious sights on them or lasers on them, and it's just like where you put it, it goes. So that was just like, hey. You know, like, that was more fun. But this was like, oh, shit, I own this. I bought these bullets. I'm about to shoot at this target. I go bang, and there's no hole in the paper. And I'm like, ooh, what did I just shoot? A puppy? A ladybug? A you know, right. a child? The neighbor's house? A tire across the street? Like, and, right. and by the way, I do know that at this point, there is a difference between... Uh, ammo that you, it's called reload that you use at the range. Um, you know, it, 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 it shoots and feels the same. It's just not as expensive. It's been literally recycled, reloaded bullets, reshelled, you know, reshelled. So like, it's cheaper and you're not spending as much money practicing. Um, there are the bullets I have right now, which are gonna fly through this house. Like, I think if I shot from the back of this house, it would end up in the fucking across the street. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but still, man, then, I say, then, you know. And then, and then there's what they call, I think, HTS, which is like hostage terrorist situation, which are meant to take a person down, but not through, it doesn't go through walls and stuff. So the fact that. Um, no, 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 I know no, what no, you're no, saying. It's that, more. The fact that the LAPD does. Louisville Police Department shot through walls in this apartment means that they, I, you know, I don't even think they were responsibly ammoed and armed. You know what I mean? That just based on my own knowledge of going into this tight unit situation. Uh, oh, no, absolutely. Glass stuff, but using bullets that could obviously fly through other, because the only charge we Right, no, no, there's, there's no. Other, other units. No, what I'm saying is I, I understand that doing it legally, making sure that you're on point with it. But at the same time, I mean, I just feel like there's going to be situations with brothers that are out there, ancestors, that are going to have to go the illegal route because they can't go to the legal route for whatever reason, because we're always painted into a corner all the time. But I do agree with you. It is best to go legally and learn what the fuck you're doing. Because when I shot, I, but also it's different when you shoot a machine gun. Cause it like it's like if I aim at Ralph's, I'm hitting pretty much all of Ralph's. Like it's like and it and it surprises you. Your hand it surprises you. Um, handgun. When I shot a handgun, I was surprised at how the weight. I was surprised by the weight. But I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, and I don't even know. You know, we were way the fuck out. And when I did went overseas with the military shit. This, this shit, like you said, it's like, yeah, I could, I could, I could do this shit. Um, it's but you can't. It's, it's a scope and the motherfucking. Yeah, you got all of these things to help you that you're not gonna have in a regular I'm like, situation. I'm a, I'm a killer. Yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna have it in a situation. Like by the way, this is Savage AF. We went a little bit over, and that's cool. Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Make sure that you check out this young man down there and follow him at. Black Pedro, at Black Pedro, and also follow me. You already know what it is, at Comedian Shang. I need y'all to do me a favor, okay? I know y'all need to check out the website, IamShang.com. Quit fucking around. It's right down there, backslash merch. Check out the merch if you can. But we got the new, we got the new Savage A.F. page up on YouTube. We need you to subscribe. You're already part of the Savage Nation, okay? I need you to go on there on YouTube right now. Find it, Savage a dot f dot you know savage af and subscribe i saw that seven of y'all 
just jumped on and subscribed. We need more. Watch some of the videos. Click on the videos. Share the videos. Do that. I'm going to start sharing a lot of the videos. We just got it up. And it's going to be linked to the website, which is going to be just straight Savage AF, which I will. I already got, I'm like, I'm a quarter of the way through. It's just I had to wait for the YouTube page because the YouTube page is going to be in, is basically going to be in the video page for us. And also the merch, is everything's going to be sold through there, not my site anymore. It'll be straight through that. Uh, Pedro's bio is on there. My bio is on there. Information about Pedro will be on there. Information about me. Pedro, when he was, you know, doing porn, you know, to get through school, um, he's going to he's gonna send you all of his outtakes, clips. You think I clips. put that towards education, dog? That was for Oh, drugs. shit, that's right. Women. My bad. Women. <laughs> Uh, so, so, and, and you know, and, and my, my days, my days being a ninja, I'm going to show you some footage of that when I was uh, a ninja. Uh, yeah. A lot of people didn't know I did that for about two years. I was a ninja assassin and I had this chain thing with a hook on the end of it and I swung it at motherfuckers and I chopped them up. So, you know, so make sure that you subscribe, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I want to see before we get off here. Because we're, we're going over, but I want to see more subscribers to Savage A.F. right now. Okay? Hey, um, it's free. Actually, Eves, Eves underscore Apple 7916, our, our technology and, and business guru uh, and queen, not even to be, but queen is being. Uh, <laughs> she said, just search Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. So search Savage AF Podcast on youtube and that'll get you to where you need to be baby you know what i'm saying right wow see that's the detroit in him by the way i don't know if you notice or not detroit is the home detroit is the home of the pimp players i want you to know that a lot of niggas that wear crayon colored suits uh in detroit (laughs) i'm not making that up if you've ever been to detroit in the hood i ain't never seen nobody have the same color on from head to toe your fellow New Yorker already said, "Pink Gators, my Detroit players." Tim. Okay, that's Detroit true. That's true. In that's Brooklyn. true. And listen, while we might wear Gators all the damn time, y'all niggas wear Tim's. No matter what you do, you could be. Yeah, no, feet just janitor, feet smell like football player, nigga, subway worker, fucking cop. I, people used niggas, to play niggas, basketball in Tim's. And then your foot smell like I your foot it. smell like a hobo ass. Yeah. yeah. A Hashtag hobo ass. It's not a situation where I have not seen a nigga, a New York nigga in Timberlands. Like funerals, goddamn christenings, uh <laughs> church. Hey man, that's nigga. the perfect time to wear some Tim's. Come on, man. <laughs> at, a, at a christening. Nigga at a yo, by the way, before I, yo Passover. Royce Royce the five nines joint is fire. I listen, I got I got the um uh, 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 Big Sean, love it. But Royce the Five Nine got this song called Cocaine. That is, uh, it's great. You got to check out if you just if you get a chance, look up Royce the Five Nine. There's a couple songs he got that I just I just downloaded that are fire. And if you don't know who Royce the Five Nine is, he was part of the crew that was with Eminem. Um, there was a whole crew of Eminem. It was Joe Button. Um. One cat from L.A. I forget the dudes from L.A. Royce of 5'9 was in it. Uh, Yellow Wolf. Was that, that part of that? No, no. He wasn't in it. He wasn't part of the crew. He was just, he was just on, the, on the freestyle joint they did for... Um, by the way, I produced one of those for BET. One of the um, ciphers. One of the BET ciphers. I produced the, one of those. So I just, I just want to throw that out there. I just want to put that out in the atmosphere that I did one of those. That You probably saw it. So, so I want you to know that. But yo, Savage AF brought to you by the one. Uh oh, there's that's that's my son. Um, he said he's walking in the house. What's up, like da 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 da. Um, but no, Savage AF. Make sure you should do, follow us on all the platforms, especially the podcast version. And right now, the new, and this is new, the new um, YouTube version and. We're at 20 subscribers. 10 people already subscribed just like that. Thank you very much. We got to get into the thousands. And we're going to be posting different stuff. Pedro's going to post different stuff. It's going to be uh, Pedro pop-ups. Pop-ins. We're going to pop in on your yeah. Some pop-ins, um, some rants, some different shit. 
some political shit, some funny shit, but it'll be all on the page and we want to get to the into the thousands. Okay, we're working on it. It's new, but we're out there. So make sure you, you subscribe. Thank you. I said 10 before we end and that's what y'all did. I want 10 new subscribers and I want you to watch some of the videos and share these motherfuckers. All y'all people that are regulars on here, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I need y'all to do this. Slaughterhouse, thank you. X so, underscore Elena X. Yeah. It was Slaughterhouse. And, and, she, and she's dropping She's dropping facts. She's like, uh, Royce is doing so much for the community. He's doing a lot for mental health in the community at large. Uh, appreciate that info. Speaking of doing shit for your community, man, I... Um, you know, I realize that I've, I've only taken one step, and I keep saying that. Uh, and I've talked about the NFAC, the Not Fucking Around Coalition, but I need to go ahead and take my next my next step in 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 gun ownership and be part of some coalition, because me just with Gertrude alone, it ain't gonna happen. And there's some kind of back order problem with Bruce, which is my, my 12 gauge bullpup shotgun that I'm waiting for. But like that, none of that's gonna do anything to change any of the things that we talk about here on Saturday F, right? So like th this ultimate, you know, last topic for, for me is just like, you got you gotta form up some kind of coalition. NFAC, Minnesota Freedom Fighters, uh, and I'm, I'm not talking about gang shit, or if we want to flip the gang shit right back to what it originally was, which was about community protection. Yeah. Please go back to that and, and cancel the drug and, and banging situation. But either way, networks need to be had. It can't just be a bunch of individuals out here with this, because that's not the way they are organized. And when I say they, I'm using air quotes and hoping that you understand what I mean, which is not only the state, which is, you know, are the police forces that, and, and other troops that run up on us and in, in when pe people are peacefully protesting, but also the, the, the Kyle Rittenhouses. And I, I only say his name because he's not a mass shooter. He shot two people and maimed one. Two he people. Shot he shot two, two people. people. He shot and killed two people and maimed one. But he is a vigilante that is being upheld, that was upheld. And as a, as I, a hero. I, I, and I believe ultimately whether he gets convicted criminally and goes to jail or not will definitely always be a, a symbol of, you know, the way America should be and what they should do and how they should handle us. So... Uh, and CIPA 313 says open carry don't work for black people in Detroit. It don't work for black people anywhere, right? But that's why coalitions are important. It happens, it works for black people in numbers. They say safety's are, safety is in numbers. And CIPA 313, it does happen in numbers. So yes, do not walk around as a black person open carrying in your hood, their hood, no hood, the woods, all by yourself. Okay. <laughs> you like, sure, yo, sure. man, were you dropping bars? Were you just yeah. dropping bars? Yeah, in your I hood, in your wood, wood, and y'all should, and you could. I would not, could not, with green <laughs> eggs and ham. I would not, could not, Sam, I am. Fuck with me. Yeah. The rocks in the building. <laughs> no, don't do any of that shit. Like, posse up. For real, like, coalate. Get, get a coalition going get together. Eve Apple said, men, it, 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 could, it, it should start there. But honestly, ladies, you got to you got to G up too right now. Like, we all it's it's it, work it's together. it's seriously going down. And and make sure that not okay, this is the thing because um, uh, we're gonna close it out. I'm gonna close it out real quick. But thank you for hanging again. We had a lot of people hang with us an hour and a little bit over an hour. I don't so, have. So, I don't have. Oh, yeah. So that, which is actually dope. But what I wanted to say to you guys is, I really do need you to do me a favor, uh, pertaining to. I need you to follow at Black Pedro. We're working on making sure that our numbers, since that is a point that some people like to bring up, go up and up and up and up, um, and make sure that that happens. So follow at Black Pedro. And yes, 
Um, AG just fit. We want to. We're gonna. I'm gonna talk to Pedro about it. Uh, we had already talked about it before. We're we're gonna do some stuff like not like comics uncensored, but we are gonna do some uh, weekend wrap ups. Uh, me and Pedro had already talked about it. Weekend wrap ups, I think, need to be done, but it will be done on Zoom because with Zoom we can actually invite people in and have people come on and talk. And because we can have multiple people on Zoom. So that's uh, going to be also featured on the um, – oh, wow, some more people subscribed. Um, that's going to be featured on the um, YouTube page. And we're going to have it on – even though Facebook is – I know Facebook's uh, corrupt, made by the devil. I will be posting it on there too. So I'm going to be – that's what I'm going to be working on tonight to, um, you know, make sure we drive as much traffic to the um, – to the fucking subscribe page, okay? So we can get this so, shit cracking. So, you know, there's going to be a whole bunch of shit. And I, I see you, Eves, out there, baby. I see you. We, uh, there's going to be a whole shit, a whole bunch of shit to talk about tomorrow because obviously Louisville's going to keep going. Uh, we've got at least one officer shot that I last saw confirmed. Um, I'm seeing other people describing more, but, um, this is uh this this country is building towards something very very uh, <laughs> interesting uh to say the absolute least <laughs> about it but um you said the absolute least yeah it, 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 it is really this will be interesting but if you're not prepared you won't get to see how interesting it is it'll probably end for you on day one so prepare yourselves guys in every single way that you can um have supplies have a plan um, have a way out if you can, and have a way to protect yourself. Um, and, that, and that's about all I can leave you with today. And it, it won't be so scary, Chief Lady FRN, if if you have all of those things in place. If you if you have a routine, if you have a plan, if you have a way that you conduct yourself um, uh, in response, or it, you know, in, in a you know projected response towards the society. I think you're in a better place. Much like the pandemic, if you understand the science, you know how to react. I'm going right. To and I think that listen, listen to Pedro when it comes to pretending to the gun thing, because he did it right the right way um, by going to, and training. I know that sounds like crazy when you say you got to train. You really do. You really got to know. I mean, because trust me, when I shot a gun, it, it may feel good because it has all these little, like when you do it the military, they have all these little extras. You're not going to have those in your house. You're not going to have the laser scope sight thing and the little thing that comes onto your eye like dead shot. You're not going to have that. So make sure that you do that and, and, and get yourself prepared just in case, just in case, just like you got car insurance, just in case. I think this is going to have to be the new norm because shit's getting buck wild. And I'm getting alerts on my phone that, um, you know, a lot of shit is going down right now in Louisville, uh, Philadelphia, New York, and Washington, D.C. right now because they went to, um, yeah, yeah, in they Washington, D.C. They were thick in New York. Also, yeah, they, they, New York. yeah, there's a lot of people out there. But they're peacefully protesting. Let's make sure that we don't get it confused between peaceful protesters, antagonists, 3%. And white nationalists that's stirring up shit actually dressed in hoodies with blackface on, so that you assume they're black people. And there are white nationalists who are police as well. By the way, I just want to add into the the whole, you know, my training thing is like another thing I realized is that, like in my own house, like if I ever have to bang this or anywhere else, like I've never shot a gun without eye protection or ear protection, and that shit like bangs my dude so like <laughs> like whatever you even train for at the range won't ever probably be be like a real life home protection situation so just understand like you'll never actually ever be ready to take a human life unless you actually actually have to so that's not what we're planning well for. what we're planning for is the protection of your own not not the, not not the the offense of another, but the defense of yourself. Right. You all right. That. That's it. That was actually a good way for us to close out. We'll be tomorrow, um, 6 p.m. Oh, damn, I'm tripping. Uh, Pedro, I was really about to say 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Nope. It's 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Thursday. And then Friday, it'll be 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. 
Pacific Standard Time, Savage AF. Thank you guys. We got um we jumped 14 subscribers. We appreciate you just like that. Um, each day we're gonna you know jump even more and more. And by tonight I'm gonna do us some blasts and some promos to make sure that you're hip to all of the stuff we're gonna have on Savage AF. Make sure you check us out on all platforms: iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. And make sure you follow at Black Pedro. All right. We out of here, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. All right? Appreciate y'all. Be safe.